to have a resolution regarding drones. So um, if, uh, if and when it's written, it should be written by the end of the week. So maybe that's something mm -hmm. that... Um, it's just uh, legislation looking into... I mean, uh, the feds are looking into it also, but it's just a matter restricting of... Restricting the use Restricting, yeah. or not even so much restricting, but uh, regulated in a certain way that they don't become obtrusive or uh, dangerous or any of the above. Are they regulated where they can fly, is what you're saying? Well, now they're not, so that's that's part of it. They're, they're just free flying, so they, they're looking. But the, the feds are they're sort of holding back a little bit. To, uh, I guess they're a little afraid to put too much restriction on it just yet. So they're still working on it. But just to address it to say that we're you know. Well, uh, I have a question. We, How does it work with the model airplanes? Is there any some place to go? Well, well I know the drone's different from a model airplane or a helicopter. Yeah, that's that's hard. Hard. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And usually they're pretty stationary in a field where the drone could go from here to the five, ten. Drones are very maneuverable. Up, down, left, right. You could go right outside your bedroom window and make a film. Which is well, you could take an amateur from the drone page. Yeah, it's hard. Or a helicopter to talk to fly. I mean, take, there's a learning curve. Of course. <coughs> So uh, that'll be, hopefully that'll be ready, maybe it'll be ready to be the Friday packet and then you can mull over that and um, we can send a letter of our uh, support of that. Do you think that, uh, do you think that we'll be through with our policy committee? I don't think, I think it's yeah, I don't know, just know. Yeah, it's Thursday, so we can push on that, and it's not going anywhere at the end of the year. Well, we're still going to meet, right? Yeah, we're going to meet, but that's, you don't think we'll have anything ready for the 15th? If it's ready, we'll put it on. It might be. We don't know what's going to be yet. Right. Well, if it's ready. Okay. Um, anybody else? <coughs> Anything coming up? Do you know this week in our Friday packet that we're going to have to address before now? Yeah. Have what? I'm sorry. In our packet, it's going to come up that we would want to address. Have you seen it? Uh, there's, there's nothing in the red file yet. Virginia has no business. I called the red. I, I know. So it's like the red file, but. 
been a red file for many, many years, and so it's the packet where future business goes into the This meeting actually ended a little bit earlier than normal, correct? In fact, the normal we need to agenda meeting for the week before the actual right. council, but we met for the tax collector and threw it in together, right? Is our future meetings going to be the Tuesday before, like it used to be? It can't be. Okay. What do you mean it can't be? Because we said it had to be at least a week before. Okay, so Monday. It could be. And then you have to change your meetings to Tuesday. Okay. Well, that's what we have to do. You have to change your regular meeting to a Tuesday and have your agenda meeting the week before on a Monday. It just said it had to be a week before. If we do a 7.30 regular meeting the next Monday, the previous Monday, we could have a meeting at 7 o'clock. On a Monday? Yeah, on the previous Monday. Oh, okay. It would still be more I than a week. Tuesday. No. Tuesday is what it used to be. So you're yeah. saying two Mondays. Right. Two right. Two that, that's the earliest we could do it. First For the, the latest. Week. First is the second and third Monday. Pleasure to have that way. Otherwise, you're going to have stuff coming in that when you close yeah. that meeting and you're going to be posting it back to square one. So, in your packet, right? Even when it was six days before, we would still well, get stuck at this. Pretty much, I think by the end of the month, you know, pretty much what's coming through, right? I mean, I can see a couple things coming in, but not like we're getting. We've got a whole list of stuff. You know, that's the end of the Friday. I'm just saying. Right. Just, mm -hmm. That's the idea. It's supposed to make it go all through I, I think it's good to just sit down and look across it. Okay. Anything else for the agenda? Mm -hmm. um, the uh, we met with uh, myself, Tom, and Bob Seward met with uh, Steve Sanacero and the uh, Marshall Baseball League, and um, they're uh, needless to say they they're not they weren't happy. Um, because this is a new thing for them, so we're, um, we're supposed to meet again uh, and try to work something out that possibly it would be a <coughs> yearly uh, blanket donation. So uh, Tom should have more on that. He called uh, their president uh, a couple times and it was waiting to hear back from them. So we have to make an amendment to our fees. We may saying? have to. If, if, if something's worked out before then, yes, then we'll make the uh, We'll advertise the amendment. Well, that's the decision of the council. Oh, correct. Right. Right. Yeah. Have to decide whether yes. we're doing it or not. Yes. Okay. I was just telling you where we were. I didn't say that it was done. Deal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just want to. Yeah. Because you get the amount of matches. It's supposed they don't come up the uh, the amount of matches to be. They were short. That's what you yeah. have to discuss. That's what we'll have to discuss. Right. It's, deter it's determined that it's cost us uh, twenty two thousand plus a year to maintain it down there. For that specific program. Correct. Yes. So, <coughs> and we did the um, actual head count. How much did someone put in the We couldn't get a roster team. from them. They were asking that for a roster. They didn't have it yet. But it's, I think it's upwards of 500 students, of students, children. 575, right? It's Captain Marshall. Mm -hmm. I think so. So I think we estimated for about 15,000, somewhere like that? Yes. Right? So we're still paying for part of it, no matter what. Even Correct. So they want to do what a graduated type of fee or not as much or what they discuss? Um, the well originally they it was nothing I think they, they, they want to pay everything. Want to get a flat fee? Or something like no, that. Yeah, something they like what do they offer at this point or actually what they say? Uh, really at, at the meeting, um, maybe ten thousand dollars a year and then graduate it over the next few years, but nothing, you know. And that's only half, that's only half of what, so, um, so I'm, I'm not sure. The other thing too I, that I have brought up, which I know has become a problem with residents actually saying something about it, with those multi-purpose fields that have turned into not so multi-purpose anymore. And people are getting pushed back on that and the right to feel that way. Uh, what's gonna happen with that? They basically have taken over more land too, so. Uh, that actually, you probably should put this because that mass picture and think about having to put it in so people actually see. Cause you hear us talking about pink colors and black is parking lot, but it doesn't show anybody if you look online. You still have it, right? Yeah, I have, I have a, a small copy of that, so it should be put with the minutes so they understand the picture of it, what we're talking about. So I was going to send you a note about that with the minutes. If you want, I'll forward a, a, a copy of that. I mean, it could be with the, certainly, it, so when we, you want it for all 
council to have a copy? Oh, oh they, they can. I'm just saying if you want to put it with the minutes so that I have one set aside paper down so that <coughs> you can put with the minutes so that anyone that's doing the minutes knows what we're talking about when he seems to go back and forth about it. Let me explain that. So it's up to the council if they'd like it on the to the copy to put in. But this is it's a little oh, like Bob it. has a, I got that from Bob, so Bob has a copy. Does he have so, the size of I'm saying I have to print already this size. Oh, that size? Down okay. From right. set of so, right. If you want, I can bring a copy down and drop it off. Okay. Copy. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's just, it just gives an overall view of the features so that they know where we're coming from. Okay. Does anybody else have anything to say about as far as the multi purpose fields? I mean, it should be. I mean, it should be available for the public. I mean, mm -hmm. public and other people. Yeah, because which one? Which ones are the ones that are designated as multi-purpose ones? Bob and Sledding Hill. Yeah. Bob and Sledding Hill. Right. And they could take. They could be right now. Those backdrops were affordable. They sort of semi put them in. Uh, we could insist that they bring them back out again. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, they took the goals away. Right. Now, if you want to play there, you bring your own goals. And the other one, I believe, was over, um, if I'm not mistaken, where the um, theater, the, the, the okay. stages. I think that was the other area that was supposed to be a multi purpose somewhere in there between the pavilions in there. And that's become a problem because that's what I had told everybody when I was at the joint school council meeting. And um, Ms. Cartel and uh, Daniel Miller had brought up the fact that when they were doing the all year reunion and they had started to go down there, that they were asked to leave. And they had brought that up to me. That's why I had said something for everybody here. And they said that they were told they had some kind of agreement with the borough. And I said, if you booked that area, but they had booked it obviously long before that the year before, and paid their fee. And she said they were very indignant about it. You know that they didn't belong there. They were playing. So. Which fields? The T-ball fields. I guess wherever that other multi-purpose area was, I'm assuming, because I didn't go to that reunion thing, but I'm assuming it's down towards where that staging area is. Is that where it's normally? So if I'm looking at the stage, the whole area in front of the stage? Is that what it is? Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
but um, I, I'd like to see what's what's everybody's vision for that space. Well, you have a wall plan. That's all in that plan. Yeah, yeah I, well, I guess the MAC is going to have to bring that in with us and figure out when. It was probably pretty close. The last meeting I went to, they had added some of stuff to it. They talked about putting it in a, um, or asking council for some ideas that were thrown mm -hmm. out there of a volleyball area put in, like they have over in Lower Wakefield. Something that's expensive to do, because a lot of people might want to use it. If it was something that didn't take off, it's not permanent, it could be moved out to receive it. Right, I mean, because nice. on the north end, I mean, that's within that flood line. Mm -hmm. So, um, they have one in Lower Midfield, the one inch with road, that yeah. pass and this is the building, is that pass? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, sand or grass? It's sand. Yeah, sand. Yes, it does. Right. The grass sand surrounds it, but it's sanded. Yeah, it's quite a bit of use, too. Uh, I always see people here. Uh, just have to watch the cats. I don't know if there's a way to spray it down or not. Treat it so that they don't. I'm just going to sift her. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. In their um, in their, their plan where they were talking about the um, walking area, jogging area, where they wanted to uh, see about putting markings like about every quarter mile, so somebody <coughs> jogging or walking the baby coach, whatever biking, whatever it would be, they would know the mileage. It's pretty good flip around that park if you if you go all the way around. Oh, yeah. It's a nice little walk. Well, the biggest problem is because the, the way it's cut off where the parking lot is. Mm -hmm. So they were looking into maybe, um, if it's possible, to come down and just actually mark it, do like yellow markings, and somehow mark that off so that when you hit that area, you can just continue as part of that path. It also save you some of the block top would have to go in, which is pretty pricey to get that put in. Just a couple things we're tweaking with that. Down the pool area, like I said, I told them that we wanted the bathroom, so we got to decide where, and he said, do you know where? I said, I don't know. In, in, the, the, in the facility that's there right now, the, the old that's where the plumbing goes. goes. That's where the plumbing Where is. the old building was. Correct. No, it's still there. No, where the building that's still The building that's there. remaining. The, the, where was the, the shack, the shack the building. Snake, the, the snack shack. Yeah. Okay, right. That has all of this. It's got all the water mm -hmm. pumps. Because we, we had water hooked up on the other mm -hmm. end. They supposed to be capped off. The engineer said, well, the original building was for the building, too. So it could really probably be a neat spot. I love that when you had to the back or when it was like that building, you're talking about keeping the actual building and turning that into mm -hmm. a right. bathroom? That's a small bathroom. Well, you could always add on to it, too. Yeah. Oh, I don't think that's a small bathroom. And, and who knows? Yeah. If we need a bigger project for CDBG, yeah. we expand it. Build, right. build a whole new bathroom over where the other buildings were. I'd say probably we could build one to it. Well, I hope someday we actually have a path from one end to the other. Can you use a seat? Can you use that open You can't use that money for the tennis courts, can you? Mm -hmm. Part of it can be. Can be? Yeah, you can use it for uh, fencing. Well, the, the fencing's already in our budget this year. Oh, it was put in for that? Mm -hmm. okay. So, mm -hmm. it was 20, 20 some thousand, 22,000. Well, Bob said we just didn't have it last year. But I think it was up in the air about the area. Um, right alongside of where it would be the basketball court, the tennis court, mm -hmm. the the tennis the yeah, where mm -hmm. baseball. That's a kind of building, and that hasn't um, been figured out. What yeah, it's happens. not happening. The, the building's not happening. Yeah, but to also as council, what would be a good plan to put in there? You, it's already blacktop, and so it used to use it without taking that out. It can't be used for something in particular. So just that's been tossed around as so ideas for that area. Hopscotch, jump rope, just you know that kind of stuff maybe. I said even an area is pretty good size for summertime activities. somewhere to where Imagine Island already is, instead of separately. I said, I don't know, you guys have talked about it, if there was a certain area for it. I'd but like to have it in the pool area. Yeah. That more separate from the, the main one, though? There's not a whole lot of room right there. I mean, you could <clears throat> carve out that hill where you could build on the roof. Well, on side, it's where they're using that multi-purpose field, though, correct? Right. And so, I mean, if we want to put one Floods don't usually come that far down. A couple do, but yeah, right. the bulk is right there. Right. Mm -hmm. 
So you can kind of push the imagination, the weakness of the imagination. Keep that's the thing that's what Debbie suggested. It's well, keeping it all together so if you have two that. kids, they can play right, exactly. close yeah, by. Yeah, smaller that. ones along here. So if you've got a parent and you've got one that's a little bit older, you don't have one, one in this park and you're on the other. That's not even though it's actually that. It's just an idea of keeping them closer to each other. The other thing they were tossing around with the pool area <laughs> was that some people were saying it would be nice to have just an area of passive to have. Uh, you have nice trees still there. Nice. Mm -hmm. Area, picnic <coughs> tables, a nice gathering area. If you're going to have some kind of activity down in the park, like now you have a national night out, and you have any other kind of festivities that you could pull up down there, you have an area to actually put people there, put vendors there, put whatever you would need on that area. So, the nice, uh, even in Falls has a nice passive park area that just has walkways through it, places to sit, nice ice trucks, you know, big blue coral barrels, um, you know, that's a nice area. So, it, they're tossing around a couple of things. I think their next move is uh, to actually have a meeting. They're going to hold, I guess, a meeting and invite the public to it. And then who, who are we talking about? Now? MEAC. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Still on them. Yeah, that does not understand what they're okay. going to I guess bring this mapping finally out and, and then see what council has to say. And the public's input also. Just hear what they have to say and what they've well, been doing so far. We still have the awning there, which the hope was to put some, you know, benches or chairs on the awning. Um, that's still intact. That's attached to the current building. So, um, yeah. So I mean, I, I don't. I don't know anybody else. I don't think anybody else talked about putting in kind of a stru another structure up there. I don't know if that's what everybody's pleasure was, but I didn't hear anything about that. No, I thought just open. Yeah. At, at this point, I haven't heard anything. I said let's probably continue something and do something we could afford and also be able to put in the kind of money we have to work with. But right now, we really don't have. A nice passive area. I just think it's fine the way it is. If I said since I took the fence down, just this nice is open space. As long as baseball is going to go down there. We would have to approve that, and I don't know that anybody that's seen up here is ready to do that. Approve what? Another baseball. Two more softball fields. They had two more softball fields. Yeah, they did. I've heard people wondering that. Yes. Oh, the pool would make another yes. nice softball field. Mm -hmm. Put a little pond in there with that fountain running and some benches around it. Mm -hmm. That would keep them out of there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just, just don't put the field there. Just don't put the field there. Just don't put the field there. Right. Because yeah. there's a lot of <coughs> nice big open area. There's a lot of things that people have talked about at yeah. some point being able to do. Great change. Yeah. 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 Yeah.